Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't even think about Massachusetts till you watch this video. Hi everyone, my name is Matt Swirk and I'm a local real estate expert right here in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams. If this is your first time to our YouTube channel and you're interested to find out what it's like to live, sleep, eat, play, uh, or planning things before you come to move here, then you definitely want to tap on the subscribe button. You're going to click that little bell so every time we make a new video, you're going to get notified. Honestly, we have so many people that call us about relocating to this area and we absolutely love it. So if you have questions, you're thinking about moving, uh, we're here, you can email us, you can text us, you can send us a message on Facebook, send it, we'll find it. Just remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've got your back. So today we're gonna to discuss some of the top things you're gonna to wanna to do before you plan your move here to Massachusetts. Uh, I think one of the biggest things for me is make sure that you do your research and hire a reputable moving company. Uh, I was gonna make a joke about two guys in a truck. Uh, however, I'm sure there's a company called Two Guys in a Truck, so I don't wanna drag their name in the mud. However, you really wanna make sure that you understand what the pricing looks like. Um, we moved not too long ago, and when we did that, you know, we didn't realize that every time they were gonna rip another roll of tape, we were spending like $25. So the cost added up very quickly. We were very surprised by that. So definitely words of advice number one, uh, do your research, make sure you understand what the insurance is, make sure you understand what the charges are. That way you're not gonna have any surprises when you come to our wonderful state. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about as far as planning your move here is the big question, of, are you going to rent or are you going to buy? Now, in one of our previous videos, we talked about the different areas within Massachusetts, and just like any state that has major cities and major hubs, as you're closer to the city, your property value is going to be much higher, okay? Um, we talk about the 95 belt of Massachusetts, the 495 belt of Massachusetts, and what that looks like as you move further away from Boston. So outside of that 495 belt, you could be buying a four bedroom house in a nice community like Westford. You know, that house is gonna cost you about 750,000, 800,000, right? Take that same, look, that same property, bring that into Boston proper, <clears throat> you might be looking at $2 million. So there's, you know, and I could be exaggerating, you know, depending on what, what property we're discussing. However, you really want to put your, um, your research hat on and understand do you want to purchase or do you want to rent? Uh, one of our big radio stations here in town is called Kiss 108. I was listening to them this morning and they happen to be talking about a woman who is renting and she said, I need to buy a home because what I'm paying for rent is more than what I'd be paying for a mortgage payment. And if you saw that previous video we had, I believe it was video number one, uh, you can check out, we talked about some of the rents in downtown Boston, you could easily be paying you know, $2,500, $3,000 for a unit. And out in the, the uh, central mass area, that same um, property is gonna be about $1,200. So just do a little bit of research. A lot of this, you know, this is planning, so you have to do some research. And if you don't wanna do it, you gotta find a friend that's gonna do it for you. <clears throat> now. Number three, and I don't wanna be cheesy, however, as a real estate agent, I have to say this, location, location, location. <clears throat> location, it's huge, right? And I think you could probably understand that as we talked about the property values and where you might rent or buy, <clears throat> that's gonna have a huge impact as far as what your life looks like here in Massachusetts. So do you wanna be in downtown Boston where you probably don't need a car and you're gonna be taking the train or the T that we call it? Uh, are you gonna be taking the commuter rail if you're living outside in one of the suburbs? So the, the other thing to consider is how close do you wanna to be to all the other states that we have in New England? Uh, we have incredible resources around us here in Massachusetts. However, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump from some great mountains, some, some great, great activities. So that's something you definitely want to keep in mind as well. And have an idea as far as what the traffic patterns are going to be. Um, you know, coming into downtown Boston, you know, you're definitely going to face some traffic. And, you know, we have... Just like any other city or any other area, you know, if you time things the wrong way by a second, then you just might have added 25 minutes onto your commute. So definitely, definitely do your homework, figure out where is it you wanna be as far as Massachusetts is concerned. So the other thing I wanna talk about, if at all possible, is pick your season. 
Now, I've actually moved in all the seasons, and I got to tell you, the middle of summer, not that fun, right? Um, I was inherited with a thing we call the Swerk Sweat Jeans, so the dew point goes up just a little bit, and I am a fire hydrant, right? So what's important about that is, especially if you're moving into a, a house, some of the old houses of Boston, we have some homes built in the 1800s, and you have very, very small staircases, and I was definitely the, uh, the victim of trying to maneuver a couch up of a very small hallway. I think it was about 95 degrees with 175 million percent humidity. Uh, oh my gosh, I never ever want to move in the summertime if I can ever avoid it. Same thing with the winter, right? <clears throat> we don't know when we're going to get hit with snow or one of those nor'easters. And I got to tell you, if you're carrying a couch and you slip, not going to be good. Now, the great thing is we have awesome medical facilities here. So you, you, you have some peace of mind as far as that's concerned. However, if possible, try to plan your, 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 uh, your re relocation as far as um, in the spring or the fall. Got to be careful around those seasons. We're going to hit upon that point a little bit later in this video, and I'll tell you why. Um, this is more of a, a generalized, doesn't matter if it's Massachusetts or anywhere, little little tidbit for you. You definitely want to start packing early, right? We don't realize how many things we have as humans in our homes or in our apartments. And as we start to pack, you know, the big things are pretty easy to put away and figure out what we're going to do with them. However, as we start on cleaning out those drawers, and I'm notorious for having a junk drawer, all those little things really start to add up and become major stressors towards the end when you're getting ready to pack up and go. So if you're thinking about relocating, just start putting some of those things away. Think about how many things we have that we never use and we just hang on to it just for the fun of it. I, I gotta go on a side tangent. Um, I actually uh, just went through a process of cleaning out some closets and I have a couple high school jackets, I have a jacket from college, and I've saved these for years upon years upon years. And I finally lifted it off of my shoulders and enlightened myself and I said, I'm not gonna wear a high school football jacket ever again. So that was donated. I hope someone loves a Matt 77 Red Raider jacket. Um, th that was a pretty fun thing to finally let go of that. And of course, the second that it went away, I think I was gonna start crying. So you definitely wanna start packing early and get rid of those things that you don't need. We don't need to keep all these things. You don't need 700 pairs of socks, I guarantee it. Um, another thing that you, you want to think about is if you have pets, right? So every state's a little bit different as far as what that looks like and what animals need to be vaccinated. So Massachusetts, we want your cats vaccinated, we want your dogs vaccinated, we want your ferrets vaccinated. Um, we have a lot of laws, so you, know, you might want a turtle vaccine. I'm just kidding, we don't vaccinate turtles. Uh, so you definitely want to look into that and see what type of vaccinations that your animals are going to have. And then also you want to know what the licensing is as far as making sure that your dog has a tag, you know, if needed. And some people take their cats out on a leash and take them for a walk, so you might have to register your cat too. Um, no judgment. Uh, another thing I, I wanted to bring up as far as things you want to plan is when you're working as far as relocating is concerned, if it is for employment, you definitely want to do the research and find out if your company is going to reimburse you or they're going to pay for certain things, right? Because if you're going to take that all on your own and you just run with that, right, you could lose, a, you could miss out on the opportunity as far as getting some of that money back. And they might help you as far as a plan is concerned, as far as temporary housing, or even, you know, paying for that truck. So it's really important, you know, sit down with your human resources department if you're thinking about moving. Uh, some people are moving specifically because they're getting transferred, so I would imagine that, yes, that company would help out. However, there's a lot of companies that you can travel, you know, you can change state to state and just look into that and see that, you know, if you're on the West Coast and you want to come over here and transfer, just see what the company will offer you, right? Um, another thing that we want to talk about is, and this is what I refer to as far as the seasons are concerned. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this into a couple different parts, and I'll attempt to bring this back full circle. I go on tangents if you can't tell, <clears throat> and I try to keep them quick on this video. Now, as far as restrictions are concerned, depending on the different cities within, within Massachusetts, there may be some restrictions as far as when, where, and how you can park. Okay, so that's something, if you're out in the suburbs, then usually not a problem. You can easily, you know, put your moving truck anywhere. Uh, if you saw one of our other videos, we talked about how we have some old horse roads that our, our infrastructure was built off of. So we have some one ways, we have some narrow streets. So that's something you definitely want to keep in mind as far as coming the day of your moving and unpacking day. 
when I bring up moving and unpacking day, I just had this chill run down my spine. Because of all the colleges that we have here in Boston, we have this time of year called moving day, which is right before Labor Day, where there's a flood of students that come into the city. It is an absolute nightmare. It is absolute chaos. A lot of people that live in the city decide to take vacations that weekend because you have people that haven't done any homework at all. They have a 20 foot truck and they're going under a 14 foot bridge. And guess what just happened? Yes, the truck got destroyed. Everyone's backed up on Starro Drive. Everyone's angry and people can get road rage pretty easily around here. So you definitely want to pay attention of when that mass the flood of people comes into the city right around that moving day. Uh, so that was the big thing that I thought about as far as restrictions are concerned. And then on the flip side, when it's time for those uh, students to leave, same type of situation. All those trucks are going to come in. And that's another thing as far as um, planning any type of moving is concerned. Uh, if there's anyone that's ever moving out of our state and they're looking to rent a truck those weekends, good luck to you because it's not happening. Uh, the other thing, if you watch the, um, I think our second video maybe, or maybe it was our first video, we talked about the cost of living in Massachusetts. Um, some of our costs are different compared to the rest of the country. So if you're coming from, I don't know, I'm going to say Alabama, but I'm just going to pick on some little tiny town in Alabama, right? So if you're coming from Alabama, uh, your cost of living is probably going to be a little bit higher than moving here into Massachusetts. So you're definitely going to want to start to, uh, to budget of what is life going to look like coming to a state that has a little bit higher costs compared to other parts of the country. Right? We don't skyrocket, you know, a couple things we do skyrocket. For, for the most part, we're not astronomical as far as the costs are concerned. However, everyone is really focused, uh, you know, especially in our circles, people are focused on building wealth and, you know, saving money. So you want to make sure that when, if you relocate to our, uh, to our uh, state, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to support yourself and that you're not going to have any surprises, right? Uh, especially if you're going to buy a house, you're going to have to buy a snowblower or maybe buy a big lawn tractor too. So keep those things in mind when it comes to moving here to Massachusetts. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is really uh, coming here to the state first, right? Now, if you have the opportunity, like I said, a lot of this, this whole video is about planning and what to prepare when you come here. So you really want to make sure that you understand what these communities look like, what are the pros and cons, what is the South Shore going to, what does the South Shore give you versus the, the city? What does the North Shore give you versus the city? What does Central Mass give you, North Central Mass? Understand what those different parts are going to have and what is going to be the best fit for you, right? Now, if you can't come to visit, this is a little ninja trick I learned, you can go on Google Street View and just kind of play around, right? Now, you need to have a lot of patience and you need to have a lot of time on your hands to do that. However, that's a fun little trick that if you get good with figuring out how to use Google Maps, and I promise they're not paying us for this, but they should give us a royalty. Uh, you definitely um, go ch you know, check out some of those communities, even if you're looking for some fun things to do, which we're going to do on another video, then you can easily go on Street View, kind of you know, check out everything. And I think one of my favorite things when I do go on Street View is I always like to look at my house from the overhead to you know see what has changed uh, you know since the last time they happened uh, the last time they took those uh, pictures and there's been some interesting things I'm like I, hey, I remember I had that pickup truck and I don't have it anymore so anyway tangent um, so that's really uh, th that's some of the, the top things that we want you to consider when it comes to um, relocating here to Massachusetts definitely need to plan all right so that's really our top 10 things that you want to plan when coming to move to Massachusetts or just moving in general, but a lot of those are geared towards Massachusetts. So again, uh, if you have questions, <clears throat> you basically want to reach out to us. Um, we're going to find that perfect area to live, to visit, or that you just want to go see. Uh, you know, you have questions, we're going to provide you with answers, and the best way to do that is go ahead and pick up the phone, you can send us an email, you can send us a text. We're always here for you, we're easy to find. Uh, we're excited to have you come to Massachusetts, and we'll see you on the next video.